So yeah, so <clears throat> interesting doing this. I mean, you know, it's sort of what do you do to give up a bit of good looks for frame rate? You know, productivity for frame rate, giving away all your personal details, Microsoft Copilot rubbish, uh, you know, uncontrollable AI, or do you lose 20 frames per second or 10 frames per second or something, you know? It's an interesting trade-off really, isn't it? I mean, to me, over 60 is brilliant. You know, I don't have a, I've only got a 60 hertz monitor. Here we go, what are we getting for this? This is a Marchi, so we're getting 96 frames per second. Tweaked windows, and what are we going to get from that? There we go, 132 frames per second, bit of a jump there. Exactly the same settings, exactly the same hardware. But yeah, do you see, now this is the, which one's this? This is the Xbox run. And this has got, again, pretty useful benchmark on it. Actually, it's quite a tricky one because it, it loads the scene up at the end. And it can bring machines to its knees, the end bit, when it loads everything in. This is on Epic settings as well. Not the best of the franchise. It's okay. I like the one on the, I like the first one, obviously. It's a classic. Second one's pretty good. The one on the ground, I can't remember that, Homewald, Desert of Karak. That's pretty cool. That was totally out of the blue, that one. A bit left field, but I like that. So here it goes. It loads the scene up. You see the frame rate just like drops away. What are we going to get out of you? Average 79 frames per second. CPU bound, GPU bound.